everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another 12.5.1.5 video. We are doing the crazy hill test today. If you are new to the channel, and that is the crazy hill test. So it's a bunch of hairpin turns, and so we are going to see how that 12.5 uh, handles that. This is the first time I've done it. Um, we do not have a kayak and we do not have a trailer. Um, if you are new and don't know what that means, I have carried a kayak on my roof and I have carried, I regularly tow a trailer and I have a whole playlist of videos for that trailer to show performance of full cell driving while towing. I believe I am the only one, maybe there's like one other person that's made a couple videos, but I'm like the only one that has been towing with full self driving. I do have that unique ability since I've added a tow hitch to my car and um, it is not uh, aftermarket so it's not factory and it allows me to use full self driving while towing. Let's see how it turns here. Slowing down good. See how it handles this little jog. This this road has terrible map data. It wasn't obvious by this right here. Good. So that little jog, no hesitancy this time. So that's good. And like this is a good speed. To it's turning the left blinker on. Why? I don't know. Seems to be going faster. Like right? this is a little. Mm, okay, slowing down. Seems a little bit too fast uh, before, but this is fine right now. Right now, it's also again it's turning the blinker on. Okay, this is this is now even worse than it was last time with the blinkers. Twelve point four point three added this weird thing with blinkers on this road, uh, where it just turns the blinkers on. So you've already seen this, how bad that is. So. Let's keep the cameras on so you can see how close we're getting to the edge. This feels really good right now though. It's just not, it's not getting too close. Now how much are we going to slow down right here? It needs to slow down more. Holy crap. That was, it went too fast and it was absolutely going to hit that truck. Okay. I'm glad they actually wasn't someone behind me. Okay, exactly. Okay, um, <laughs> that's why I do this test, everyone. <laughs> Guys, full side driving needs work on this road. I would love it if I could have a robot taxi on this, especially one that could tow a trailer, because there's uh, there are people and there's someone behind me. Fantastic. So I'm probably gonna let them go past me. Uh, um, yeah, so there, I could have a shuttle service to shuttle people up and down for the river. And of course, that would be a pretty lucrative business, I think, with a robo taxi. Because there's two shuttle services that do it with a human, you know, shuttle kayaks and everything. But imagine if it was autonomous. It's, it's this is not improved. I hate to say. It. I mean, like it's turning a blinker on for a curve. I get the only thing. It seems to be also going really fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's how that car had to stop right there. Like that's what the the blinker is also really annoying. Like, this is like here's one of the shuttle services. I'm gonna keep my hand near the steering wheel <laughs> around these curves. Yeah, because this is a um, Saturday, 
and a very nice weather outside. So I expect, um, why is it going so slow now? Intention monitoring under veil. It's turning the blinker on for every curve. I can definitely tell, like, anyone behind me, I'm sure, would be annoyed. This thing is going fast right here. And then it slows down. It's not, and I feel like having this truck behind me, the car seems a little bit hesitant. Um, it's, it's like when I have my trailer behind me, it's, it feels like it's being rushed. Like, someone's pushing them to go down the hill. It's like it, the car has anxiety. Which is, you know very possible. Just turn on the left blinker. <laughs> it's gonna turn the left blinker on to go around the right curb. Yep. Awesome. Is it not gonna turn the blinker off? There it goes. Okay. Yeah, this is just a huge stress test. Yep, uh, Elon, uh, yo, um, you want to put your uh, engineers, um, they can uh, bring up an RV with Cybertruck, and I have a spot they can stay on my property, and they could totally, uh, totally uh, come drive this route every day if the, if the, if the engineers want to uh, make this the new truck's turn. <laughs> um, could totally, um, could totally do that. Seems like this needs some help. The one main thing I can say that is still good on this version is that it stays far enough away from the edge of the road. It just feels comfortable, and if there was no other traffic, it just feels comfortable. Now, what it's still doing. I'm actually no. See right there. See exactly. I'm glad I disengaged. That's exactly why you disengage. See all that? I would have um, I would have been potentially hit by that car if I didn't disengage because my car was on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. So that's exactly it, man. This is a great video. This is giving me a lot of like exact why you're not supposed to be on the wrong side of the road around those blind curves. The exact reason. I'll see what happens on the way back up. But yeah, this is getting some good footage on the way down though. Exact, like it shows exactly why you shouldn't be on that side of the road. I disengaged before I saw that, uh, before I saw that car. That would have been like a rather scary moment <laughs> if I, if I didn't just proactively disengage. A shuttle. See a robo taxi, cyber truck robo taxi guys with a trailer. That would be awesome. I would totally do that if that can make that work. Go get me a fleet of cyber trucks and just have them go up and down this mountain all day long. Just the like to you know shuttle people down the lazy river. We have the green river right here, and it's an excellent tubing and kayaking. It's like you can go all day long uh, kayaking down this. Just get dropped off at the front and picked up at the end and shuttle back and forth. It would work great to do that. Okay, so this is basically done on the downhill. I don't, I don't know. We had at least three disengagements or something. Um, some close calls. This is why I do this. This is why I have the wide angle lens. Um, I'm actually gonna disengage right here and go through the parking lot and go back up. Busy today. Okay. 
So it hadn't routed yet. So I'm, I'm doing this just so I can see what it does in a gravel parking lot. See if it can make it out. And that, this seems to be it. You know, it's slightly improved. Oh, hold up. <laughs> what? Car is, why did, navigation is going the wrong direction. <laughs> It's done that before. So I'm waiting until it actually navigates the right direction. There we go. I don't know why it does that. I, I think it might be as like it does it looks like the map data is like it just gives up. <laughs> and we have four cars behind me, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let them let them pass. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with this. Did I keep? I think this is the EV9. See, that's very awesome. Okay. Because I wasn't going to deal with being tailgated by four cars. So if they're slow, then I don't have to feel so bad going up the hill. And. Um, I'm considering going kayaking tomorrow, which means I'll go down the same exact route and uh, take my trailer. Uh, or I could go the other way. I can go the back way. Um, which is, you know, not as, not as exciting. Uh, hey, it kind of evaded this side of that bridge for once. A slight improvement. Even like a headache, <laughs> like nauseous a little bit from this. Yeah, so I'm considering taking the trailer out with the kayak on it, and let's, let's kind of see how that goes. Well, it's like we're gonna have some fun times. It's just gonna give up. I have to tap the accelerator. Car gave up and wouldn't would not continue the turn. Yeah, so I can definitely say after that this is a uh, worse version uh, than 12.4.3. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say it's worse. I'm I'm pressing the accelerator because it's just going too slow. I have a mosquito in here biting me, driving me nuts. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's just because this type of driving is so rare in the U.S. It define a road like this is incredibly rare. For most, for the for statistically speaking, like the amount of miles that are driven per day on roads that are like this are very tiny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just this is this is this is worse. I just it fail it fails every time now. Like that was good, for the most part. It still should have stayed further to the right. But that exact corner is one where a truck um, almost ran into a truck. And this type of road, it doesn't need to so strictly stay in the curvy part. It doesn't. It can go just straight through the middle of the road. As long as it's on an oncoming car. I'm gonna keep doing this guys until it can do it perfectly 
with tons of traffic. And I have a feeling it is going to be a long time before it can do that. It's not going to stop. Like, that's the thing. There are people like, oh, you can't do this. It can't be robo taxi. I'm like, no, you guys, I'm sorry, you're, you're idiots. <laughs> Anyone who says it can't, because it can't do this, they're like, oh, robo taxi is impossible. I'm like, no, you're an idiot. They can absolutely have geofence robo taxis to specific areas in specific cities. It doesn't have to do, be able to do this to be able to do a robo taxi. I can guarantee you there's some old person from Indiana that, that couldn't complete this road. They would chicken out and they wouldn't be able to do it. Full self driving at least can do it as long as there's no cars on the road for the most part. Maybe this version's struggling a little bit. But, like, that's the thing. Yeah. And it's just. I think. Was that car in front of me a Florida driver? I think. So, as you can tell, they're not. Yeah, you can see this right here. I guess I should have had the camera on. So I turned that off. So you can see how close it's getting. Turning the right blinker on to go on a, around a left turn. Okay. And I'm actually I'm having to back up because there's a ditch in the road. Car didn't um, need needed to be able to back up basically without bottoming out in the road. That that was a. Uh, that was a 100% necessary disengagement there because uh, unless you're like Cybertruck then it can go off road but yeah so you can see and also that van took that way too wide so the van kind of cut me off but it has to account for that my car has to be able to account for other stupid people on the road it's like it didn't give me room so it, it cut that corner way too wide and didn't give me room the car does the opposite, you know, it cuts the corners too sharply. And then they give someone else room. If it had stayed further right and then slowed down, it wouldn't have it would have just slowed down and then kept on going. It wouldn't have had to back up. I would I had to back up there to be able to not bottom out my car. Yeah, the blinkers are really frustrating on this. This is worse than the 12 times before that tree with the blinkers. Like, that's the thing, the 12 series like solved the blinker. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna take over. Yeah, guys, that was not good. That was not good. So I'm gonna upload the video. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off the road right here then. I don't know why everyone seems to be stopping. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, that was not good, everyone. Um, if you have questions, comments, I'm glad to hear what you think about this. Um, go ahead and put them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.